bro. You know what I was thinking, bro? Hmm. If your leg get cut off, would it hurt? Duh. How though? Because your leg got cut off, fool. Where you gonna feel the pain? In your leg. Exactly, bro. How you gonna feel the pain in your leg if your, your leg, leg is, is gone, gone bro? I've been thinking about this shit all day, bro. Where would you put a pain in? That's the point. There ain't no pain. Once your leg gone, your pain go with it. Where you gonna put a pain if your shit gone, bro? Oh. I'm telling you, bro, smoking, bro, we be smart as hell. None shall pass. What? None shall pass. I, I have no quarrel with you, brave Sir Knight, but I must cross this bridge. Then you shall die. I command you as King of the Britons to stand aside. I move for no man. So be it. Shink. Now stand aside, worthy adversary. <laughs> Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. No, it isn't. What? Well, then what's that, then? <laughs> I've had worse. You're a liar. Come on, you pansy. Sir, catch it. Yeah. Ha! Victory is mine! I thank thee, O Lord, that in thy... Come on, then. What? Ech, what? Stop. <laughs> you are indeed brave, Sir Knight, but the fight is mine. Had enough? You stupid bastard, you've got any arms left! Of course I have! You haven't I got have. any arms left! Of course I have! Look! What? Just a flesh wound. Stop that! <laughs> Get not quit. Why? I'll have your leg. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. uh, I'll do you for that. You'll what? Come here. What, what are you going to do? Bleed on me? I'm invincible. You're a loony. The Black Knight always triumphs. Have at you. Uh, uh, All right. We'll call it a draw. Come, Patsy. Running away, eh? You yellow bastard, come back here and take what's coming to you. I'll bite your legs off! I mean, you got like four more arms, so, you know. <laughs> that's true, yeah. <laughs> there you go, That that's a just really go, good scene. Just go like I'm John like, oh, Carpenter's it. the thing and just crawl after him. Uh, Tis but a flesh wound is one Actually, of my favorite Actually, wait, I want to change bits. it to, you yellow tooth bastard! There you go, because he's <laughs> got job. yellow teeth. problem with like Facebook and Twitter you know everyone says oh it's changing the world but not in a good way you know we're not connected with each other anymore you know tweeting that's not having a conversation what is that no you know? no and then these people who do that shit they hear you having a real conversation with your real buddies your real pals and they get all jealous and pissed off and they want to shush you yeah right and you know what else is bugging me about this guy huh. I cannot get past the fact that we're perfect strangers he doesn't know me I mean for all this guy knows I'm a psychopath in the trunk full of chainsaws right he shushes me because he doesn't like the volume of my conversation huh. next thing he knows he's chopped the bits in the basement somewhere you know mm. was that worth it no i mean i could be a man with a fist full of hammers right. and a trunk full of duct tape and zip ties you know this guy doesn't know me is he crazy right. just... it's very upsetting to me that he didn't consider any of that yeah well this is not a considerate man charlie this is a rude man and they are very seldom the same people yeah uh sir oh yeah can we get you for a second we gotta what can i get for you guys well yeah. we're we're looking for a man um yeah this guy was a real douchebag he was in here the other night yeah, um, yeah, douchey looking. Kind of yeah, douchey, I man. wish I had a picture of the guy, but we don't. Um... Oh, he's a shusher. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> right. This is a douchebag who goes around shushing people that he doesn't even know. Yeah, people who could have chainsaws. Or hammers. I mean, is, is any of this ringing a bell to you? No, sorry, but I don't really see what the big deal is. I don't need my meds anymore, Hannibal. I'm free for the first f***ing time. Why can't you just be happy for me, man? If you happy, then I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. Look at me. Do I not look happy? Do I not look happy? This is the face of a happy person. Hey, Eric, look at me. Bitch. No, no, no. Hey, no, Trisha. No, no. <gasps> <sighs> You are one of my very best friends, and I cannot stand by and watch you throw away your life like this. You're too young. You're too beautiful. What the f are you talking about? I'm talking about the baby that's growing inside of your belly right now. I'm not pregnant! Well, not after that punch or not. <laughs> I've been taking Muay Thai classes. I was never pregnant, Trisha. Uh, I, are you sure? Yeah, sure. I'm sorry, but why the f is everybody yelling over here? Oh. I found this positive pregnancy test and there was- Good! Oh, mother- 
Oh no! Ow! Help! I'm stuck! Huh? What happened? My hand, it's stuck in the washing machine! This hand? Oh, wow, how did you do that? How did you not do that? Well, anyways, how can I ever thank you for helping me? Don't mention it. Just be careful next time. Uh, there must be some way I can show my appreciation. No, really, it's not necessary. Oh, no, you have a stain on your pants. Why don't you just take them off and I'll wash them for you? <clears throat> That's quite all right. These are my work garments. Are you sure? I'm very good at rubbing things out. Actually, with grease stains, you want to dab it with a little bit of baking soda. Well, how about after I toss in this load, I take your load. Wait. Why aren't you separating your whites and colors? Just fuck me! No! Drunk. Yes, you are. I am not drunk. Can you tell the time? Yes. I am not drunk. Hello, is anybody there? The cave slowly begins to fill with water. Hello, please, somebody help me. Hello. A slightly closer image of Obama looking smug. I'll do anything for you, Mr. Obama, please. Anything? Anything for you, Mr. Obama, cat face. Then perish. So sweet, Al. Shut up! Look how silly this is! Are they gone? You have to like do- Oh! 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 Aaron, don't leave! Aaron, don't- Aaron! I love you! No! I'm fucking done! I'm fucking done! No, you're not! Is this bullshit? I'm gonna go- This is fucking bullshit! I can't get off! What is this?! I can't get off! What is this?! I'm stuck! What is my life?! <laughs> I can't do it, John! I can't either! I can't fucking do it anymore! I'll tell you what, Aaron! You can give up now, or you can pay it up! Because I certainly can't do it without you, and I know you can't do it without me! I appreciate it! But look what we're dealing with, man! <laughs> Aaron! You gotta draw the line somewhere! Aaron, we you gotta draw a fucking line in the sand, dude! Aaron, we you gotta make a statement! You gotta look inside yourself and say, What am I willing to put up with today? Not fucking this! I'm all! I'm Superman! I believe I can fly! Did you just pour the milk first? Yeah, what's wrong? Is it is it expired? Nobody pours the milk first. It's, it's, it's weird. Um, I pour the milk first. And it's freaking weird! Why are you so offended? Because, like, serial killers pour the milk first! Oh, so, so I'ma kill somebody for no reason because I poured the milk first. I don't know, baby! Like, Why does this even matter to you? Why do you even do it that way? So the cereal doesn't get soggy as fast. What? It makes sense. No, it doesn't. Listen, if you pour the cereal in first, and then pour the milk in after, then all the cereal gets saturated by the milk. All of the cereal gets saturated and submerged in the milk anyway. No, not if you pour the milk in first. Yes, because... it does! Wait, wait, let me finish, bro. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead. What? Because of surface tension, the bottom layer of the cereal will act as a flotation device. What are you even saying? Shut right up! Now? Let me finish, man! But that's... Stupid! You're stupid! This whole argument is stupid! You're the one who started this whole argument! Cause you poured the freaking milk in the bowl first! Just listen to me! Gosh. Now, as I was saying, if you pour the cereal on top of the milk- Wait, the how are you supposed to know how much milk to pour mm -mm. if you don't pour the mm -mm. cereal into the bowl first? If you eat all the cereal and there's still more milk left, either A, drink it, or B, I don't know, Pour some more cereal! But what if you're not as hungry or as thirsty as you thought you were, and now you just sit here with a bowl full of extra milk? Do you need a badu? Your papa? 
Or are you gonna stop being a little baby and just finish it? Cereal milk is tainted milk. Well, that's your fault for pouring too much milk. Plus, there's there's always room for more cereal. Milk and cereal is like the ice cream of breakfast. Cereal for breakfast is pop. But on the other hand, if you pour the cereal oh. first and then pour the milk on after, Stop. all the cereal will get soggy. Exactly. Quickly. Huh? It gets soggy. Exactly. That's the best part. You're kidding me. No, I am not. Have you ever had soggy fruity pebbles before? Yes. And they're delicious. You're a demon. Soggy fruity pebbles are heavenly. That's disgusting. You're disgusting. Your whole face is disgusting. You idiot. We have the same face. Hey guys. What? what? I just heard you arguing and I just gotta say, have y'all tried it without the milk? I actually, I prefer to eat my cereal dry. <gasps> Do you also prefer to brush your teeth without wetting the toothbrush? I bet you poop after you take a shower. You're probably smelling like straight crotch. Right now. Old broke Matthew McConaughey looking boy. You don't get your old, wow, Owen Wilson looking face out of here, boy. But guys. Who are you? We don't even know you anymore. But guys. Seto Kaiba. Um. <laughs> Is that right. it? Is that the ringtone? No, it's, no, it's clearly not. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think for a second. Um. Yu-Gi-Oh! is the most Christmassy thing I can think of. Ah! Yeah. Let's see. Um. Hey, Lily, if you ignore your boyfriend, one... Wait, I should have clarified. Is, is, I, I probably shouldn't say boyfriend. I don't know. Stop if assuming actually... things. God. You're right. Rude. Lily, answer the phone. Get in the Christmas spirit. Bumbo, mumbo, mumbo. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's Christmas. <laughs> Can Angel flirt with Alistair, please? Oh, Alistair. Um. <clears throat> What's um, up, you sexy little bitch? I, I, I'm going to ask you to respect the five, if, uh, uh, five foot rule. <laughs> oh, no. it's a, you're such a character, Angel. <laughs> Let me get on top of you, boy. <laughs> uh, I just remembered I have to figure my dry cleaning. <laughs> get back here, motherfucker. <laughs> What you do with your mother is your business! Ah! And happy birthday. You will commit a crime in three minutes. <laughs> huh. It's pretty direct, right? <laughs> yeah, mine are never that specific. What does yours say? Uh, mine says, you will witness a crime in three minutes. <laughs> Jeremy, what is yours? You will die in three minutes. <laughs> Matt, I think you're gonna kill Jeremy. No, I'm not. Why would I do that? I, I don't know. Jealousy? <gasps> Angel? Yes? There's something I've been wanting to do for a while now. Do you have a moment? Uh, I got like two minutes free. What's up? Well, I got you this. It's, um, it's not really a fancy ring, but... It does have a lollipop on the top of it. <laughs> you got this fucking Dollar General ring? <laughs> Listen, shut up and just let me finish. Okay. It's strawberry, your favorite. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. I like, I like it. I like it. Was, was there something that you actually wanted from me, though? I wanted to make a proposition to you. Okay. Proposed, as it were. Uh, okay. I propose that you get your life in order and you figure out why you're stuck in this hotel. That's my proposition to you. Please, get your life together, Angel. Okay, Dad. Fine, I will. Oh, that's the first time you've called me Dad. It's not the it's last adorable. time, Daddy. Oh, dear, I don't like this anymore. I'm leaving! But there are no doors or windows! You're right! But that means you're stuck in here with me. Oh! Oh! I know! Let's tell dad jokes! Fuck! Today, my friend Mondo tells me, Gabriel, you know what? Felipe is always messing with us. Why don't you mess with him? I go, what should I do? He goes, well, why don't you crank call him? I go, dude, <laughs> that's a good idea! <laughs> like a little kid, right? I picked up the phone, I was like... <laughs> Hello? Hello, sir. Hi. 
Hi, this is the front desk. Listen, we're having a report of a lot of noise coming from your room. Do you think you could please keep the noise down? Oh, I'm sorry, fool. I didn't know making noise. Thank you, sir. Please keep it down. Okay. Ten minutes later, called him back. <laughs> shut up, dude. Shut up. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. Hi, front desk again. Listen, obviously you did not understand what I said earlier about the noise. You need to keep the noise down. But I'm not making. Sir, listen. <laughs> you either keep down the noise, or we're gonna call the authorities. Okay. I'm sorry. Thank you. And before I hung up the phone, I said this. Damn Mexicans! <laughs> Woo, you guys swear to God, the Mexican Revolution started all over again. Man. He was mad. He came running over to the room. Right, he started pounding on the door. Right, <laughs> open the door. All right, shut up, dude. Shut up. Shut up. Dude. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> What's up, dude? Fool, you're not gonna believe it. This hotel is racist. Really? Why do you say that? Fool, I lay at the front desk. She doesn't like Mexicans. Well, what are you gonna do about it? Fool, I'm gonna go shoot her. <laughs> Dude, don't go shooting anybody. Maybe you just need to go talk to her. Talk, Mondo, tell him. Yeah, you should go talk. Fool, that's what I'm gonna do. So he starts walking away. I'm like, Mondo, we gotta see this, right? <laughs> so we start following him towards the lobby, right? Felipe gets mad halfway and starts running. I'm like, Dude, don't run, me and Mondo. Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> to run Felipe makes it to the lobby like 30 seconds before we do right and keep in mind the girls at the counter they don't know what's going on they're doing their job they're checking people in they're giving out keys right they're like okay thank you please come again okay here you go all right here's your keys sign right here okay and here comes Felipe right <laughs> okay which one of your bitches said Mexican <laughs> and they started freaking out oh my god there's an angry Latino Oh my God, look, it's not my fault the Raiders lost, okay? <laughs> Don't take it out on me, please, okay? So he keeps yelling at him, going back and forth, right, this and that. Finally, Mondo and I make it to the lobby, all winded, right? <laughs> Olive, Olive, don't do it, dude, don't do it. Fool, shut up. You don't know what's going on. Felipe can explain everything. Fool, shut the hell up. All of a sudden, a security guard comes in, grabs Felipe, and starts trying to put him down. Right? I'm like, oh, should I let this get out of hand? I'm like, I got to break this up. Felipe, let me explain. Fool, shut the hell up. So I grabbed his ear and I said, sir. <laughs> You're going to need to keep the noise down. Oh, was that you? Yes, sir. You're an asshole, fool. I know, sir. But it was funny, huh? Five, six, seven, eight.